Good evening all. We are here to present our final for tonight in Constituency 26 and I'll let my partner give you the numbers. In this constituency, there are 1,139 eligible voters. Of that, 597 votes were cast. And the results are as such. There were five spoiled. Mr. David Birch, independent, got 12 votes. Ms. Robin Swan, OBA, got 103. And Mr. Neville Tiro, PLP, 477. Yeah. We will now go inside and they will come out to you. Thank you. Thank you. speechless really but I, I firstly I want to thank the good Lord for bringing, for bringing me to this point I, um, um, and, and this is in no particular order but I have to thank the team that helped me it was a team effort and this is really a victory for the Progressive Labor Party not so much Neville Tiro it's a, it's, it's a victory for the Progressive Labor Party we did our work but there were people that was certainly behind me I think you see some of them right here starting from this little one here uh, to everyone my wife and everybody uh, we worked hard so I'm, I'm happy that we've achieved this it's an early Christmas present to me let's put it that way Number problem. Thank you. Thank you. That sounds good. Say that again. <laughs> I would Number problem. Number problem. It's been a long time coming. Yes. yes. Long time coming. I would like to congratulate the newest member of parliament for the Progressive Labor Party and for this country, Mr. Neville Tyrrell, a man who you've seen by the impressive vote count today, has truly done his work and has represented the Progressive Labor Party very well. The, to, the message today that was sent by the voters of constituency number 26 means that they want a government that listens to them. They want a government that is paying attention and they want a government that will govern for the many and not just for the few. The Progressive Labor Party has put forward a positive vision and we will continue to do the same work of which we've done in Constituency 26 across this country as we prepare for the general election next year so the people of this country can have hope for a better and brighter future and a change that will be positive and will positively affect their lives. We're going to have a question. Do any members of the media have any questions? Mr. Chair, what would be your first order of business? Oh, wow. I, I'm so tired. But, well, let, let, let me, I'm going to be very honest with you. I've not been able to help my wife prepare for Christmas. And I promised her I'll give her Wednesday, Wednesday and Thursday. <laughs> she can work me as hard as she wants Wednesday and Thursday. But I'm taking off from Friday. I'm going to have some time off. It's as simple as that. Priorities are right. That's what my priority is right now. I need some rest. I really do. Yeah. I really do. Family time. Yeah. Any other questions? So, I mean, you, you've campaigned in some tough seats three times before, and uh, now as you were, you were telling me the other day, you're in the constituency that you're hoping to represent. Um, How does it feel after so much time? Hey, I, I, as I said, I, when I was inside listening to the count, and I knew when it happened, I knew exactly when it happened, and I just said, Terrell, finally. And that's about all I could say. <laughs> finally. <laughs> you know, I'm happy. I'm just happy. I'm really happy. I'm really happy. Uh, let me also say that um, inside, you may not have seen it outside, but I did um, congratulate uh, the independent and the representatives of the uh, other side uh, who didn't, didn't come in. But um, 
I, I told her I would be gracious. So she had nothing to worry about. She actually asked me, you know, what was I going to be like? And I said, gracious, that's all. I'm very humble about that. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. so she, she fought a good fight. It's as simple as that. Any other questions? No, that's good. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Let's party, guys. Oh, yes. Yeah. Let's party. Um, I'm very grateful for this experience. Um, I'm looking forward to continuing to advocate for the issues that I'm passionate about. Um, I'm very grateful for Mr. Tyrrell. He's been very genuine and, and compassionate and gracious. I'm grateful to the people of 26 who have given me this opportunity. And by the results, I have a lot of work to do. So I will be continuing and I'm looking uh, forward to the future. I'm very optimistic. Oh, first off, let me say I'm proud of this young lady. She stepped right into a very difficult constituency. She worked hard from the very beginning. Um, she's conducted herself in a very mature way for a young politician, and she's got a lot to offer. And I think it's exciting that a young lady stepped forward and made the commitment to uh, continue to work for the people of Bermuda. Let me congratulate Mr. Tyrrell on um, the contest that he fought. We knew it would always be an uphill battle, but representation is about making sure you do it from one end of the island to the other. And we'll continue to work hard for all the people of Bermuda. And we're excited to have some young people come on board and commit to making Bermuda a better place. So, Robin, to you and, and Chris and the rest of the team, thank you for your work. And the work has just started. But I know you're up to it. Thank you. any reflection of what the general public is feeling when they go to the polls as far as across the country? Well, I think if you look back at this constituency, it's been held by the uh, leader of the PLP for a number of years now, so we knew it was going to be an uphill battle. People can read whatever they want into this election. Um, I tend to take a look at it that uh, we knew it was going to be tough. Uh, Robin came with no false illusions about it, and she's committed to trying to make a difference, and that's where we keep to keep going. You know, we, we live in very difficult times, and politics operates in very strange ways, and we'll keep working and doing what we have to do because we have to make progress for everyone, and representation is the first step to true and, and vibrant democracy. Any other questions? Ms. Swan, what would be your next step going forward? I know it's a very busy year in 2017, um, a possible general election. What would be your next move? Um, my next move would be um, to continue in the area. Uh, the things that I have promised to tackle, I will be aggressively tackling. Um, I plan on, even though I don't wish to be the poster child for decriminalization of marijuana, <laughs> I will be continuing uh, to finish what I started with that issue um, and hopefully getting more people in the public talking about it um, because that's a very unjust thing that is, has happened in our society and our laws and we must uh, rectify it. Thank you. Seasons greetings, everybody. Well done, girl. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.